when President Bahuman thought to work towards forward integration, it formed the leading Pakistani brand in denim wear. Stone Age started its operations in March 2006. It initially opened its outlets in Lahore and Karachi and went on to develop itself in smaller cities including Islamabad, Sialkot, Festabad and Multan. With time, the brand has worked towards product lining and now markets a complete range of urban street clothing as well as accessories from bags and belts to shades and shoes. When a young customer walks into our store and if he or she is travelling abroad, they would pretty much find the same colour stories going on in an Abercrombie store or a Polo store or as a matter of fact any Levi's store. But the uniqueness is going to be that the essence of the fabrication is going to be different. The essence of styling is going to be different. It's like customised for the people of Pakistan. Our mission is that, you know, first of all we are proud of being a Pakistani brand. And that's what we intend to do and show the globe that, you know, yes, we have the talent because all the recruitments is based out of Pakistan and we intend to prove it to the world that we are no less than any other designer or any other brand in the world. We've done it to an extent in Pakistan. We've been nominated twice for Luxile Awards and it's, it's all because it's the energy and it's the power our youth has developed and dedicated to the brand itself. So we will prove it inshallah to the globe too that we are, we are a brand that's Pakistani and it's proud of being a Pakistan. Whether inspired by punk rock, go-getting glam, funk or urban street culture, Stone Age aims to empower the young with a fashion statement to emancipate and liberate. Dressing up the cool and toning down the convention, Stone Age enhances a trend culture honed on what the rebels of today crave, street smart threads on a whole new scale of attitude reborn. When a young consumer walks into our store and if he or she is travelling abroad, they would pretty much find the same colour stories going on in an Abercrombie store or a Polo store or as a matter of fact any Levi's store. But the uniqueness is going to be that the essence of the fabrication is going to be different. The essence of styling is going to be different. It's like customised for the people of Pakistan. The basic differentiation that lies around with us is the backing we had as far as infrastructure is concerned. Mostly brands in Pakistan don't have a huge infrastructure when it comes to designing the product. Primarily it's cut copy based from different parts of the globe. We develop our own products that's inspired from different brands working in the globe. So firstly, it's different in a sense it is unique. It has its own heritage as far as the fabrication is concerned because everything is done within Pakistan. It's not that most of the stuff is being exported out or imported in. It's coming from the Pakistan, for the Pakistani people, by the Pakistani people. Since the year 2000, many local brands stirred up and started marketing urban and western clothing. Only a few have been able to keep themselves alive. Stone Age is relatively a late market entrant, but its manufacturing expertise as well as good marketing decisions has helped it develop a strong place in the apparel industry. It's truthful, it's straightforward, it's fashionable, it's trendy, it's young. Primarily, you know, if I look at the consumer, our consumer is more of a young youth and it starts from the age of 18 and goes up to 25, 30, that's where we are really targeting on to. And uh, you know, as far as the philosophy is concerned, it's more about youth, young, energetic people, and uh, it's primarily inspired from what's happening around in the fashion industry around the globe. We have our own design house, and it's not primarily, you know, being something which is copied out of other brands, it's something that's developed keeping in mind the trends that are happening around the globe and the color stories are going, we do our own research and we are working on that.
all these brands are focusing on the same segment that is the youth the energetic youth the point of difference in branding for stone age is the denim factor this is where the international competition comes in these international apparel brands have much greater brand equity and higher brand value in the eyes of the consumer to develop itself as the number one in denim and create a distinct brand image stone age has great plans for the future we are opening at a base of approximately 18 outlets within pakistan and uh, we are introducing the concept of icon stores within pakistan which nobody has done it with the people call it usually call up so as to access stores so icon store is going to be much different and much bigger than what other stores are carrying and plus we are opening up in international waters too we are going to dubai we are going to europe we are going to and uh, asia the far east the far east you see the difference between a flagship store is that you know usually people make up their flagship stores with huge infrastructures but they carry the essence of what their initial stores or small stores are the icon store is something which is an iconic representation of the brand and is more to less it has to have an ambiance created an experience created where you feel like you know you are in a place where you treated as like an, a celebrity you're not just visiting a clothing store you're not visiting in a barrel store or any so it's like you're an icon in that place so that sort of experience we are trying to create when in fact and we have two icon stores one in karachi one in hot pretty soon then in forever although there are few brands in the pakistani apparel industry The question is, will Stonehenge be able to brand itself in such a manner that it stands out from the clutter? This is Mujtaba Hussain along with Ahmed Arbab and Sara Tahir from the Lahore School. Thank you.